time for a quick demo of controlling my RX-8 from an iPod Touch. Now we'll just verify that there's actually nobody in the car. So you can see that the driver's seat is empty, there's nobody else in there. We'll come back away from the car a bit here. Now what I can do from here is unlock the car. You should see the central locking system do its thing in a moment. Maybe I missed the button, that's better. So the car is now unlocked. We can lock it. And we can start the engine. So the car is now running. What we can do now is flip onto the next screen on this little application, which will bring up some telemetry data. And this is a real-time data feed coming off the engine. We can see it's running at 1100 RPM um, and I only have 23% petrol so I need to refuel sometime soon. Uh, the next screen on this application is a Google Maps mashup which pulls data from the GPS in the car and displays the current location. Maybe I missed that button. That's it. And this is a real-time display. And the thing is that the iPod here is not actually connected to the car directly. The car has its own 3G internet connection and this iPod is connecting to the internet via um, a Wi-Fi connection. So I could be anywhere in the world doing this. I don't need to be anywhere near the car. So I'll just turn the engine off again and open the boot. And then in the boot you can see a little Alex One computer which is connected to a bunch of different things. There is the OBD onboard diagnostics that is the connection under the dashboard where a mechanic would normally plug in their laptop. Underneath that is a connection to the 3G uh, wireless internet modem and there's a high gain antenna. I also have a link to an Arduino. This one is mounted under the dash and connected into the ignition system. This is what gives me control over start and stop, um, central locking, boot release and things like that. There's a GPS connection and also audio which feeds into the head unit of the sound system. So, and there's nothing special about this particular iPod except that it's running the SoPod full screen browser. This is just a web application. So I could be accessing this from anywhere.